guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Mother's Day. Today is Mother's Day. I know you guys are probably seeing this on Monday, but um, just wanted to kind of tell you guys like what we've been doing for Mother's Day. Unfortunately, I am not sitting down and like relaxing on Mother's Day. I just got done cleaning the house. Um, we just got back from the lake cabin. We did go to the lake cabin for the day yesterday. Um, Kaya's watching our Disney vlogs right now in the background. She begged to watch um, the Disney vlogs. So, and by the way, if you guys haven't seen those, I'll have them linked down below. They're like some of my favorite videos ever. Uh, clearly for me because like, yeah, just like seeing my kids in Disney is like such an amazing experience. I like like the whole thing overall was such an amazing experience, and I'm so thankful that my sister was able to come with. Um, anyway, okay. So, you want to get your face painted again? Okay, so for um, dinner tonight, we are having Mike's parents over. Um, they've been quarantining, we've been quarantining. So anyways, they're coming over for dinner. Um, I meant to ask you guys, so what are your plans for like isolating and like visit, visiting family and like quarantine and everything? Because Minnesota lifts the stay at home order on May 14th. And I just, uh, here's my take on it, is I'm going to avoid public places. My family's avoiding public places. We're getting like groceries delivered to us. We order takeout. Like the only public places that we go, Mike goes to Menards. Um, and then I go to like work and Mike goes to work and the kids go to daycare. The kids' is, like interaction and like our interaction is very minimal. We're not going into our public, we're not going to retail spaces, bar spaces, restaurant spaces. Um, and then same with like Mike's side of the family and my side of the family. Um, so we've chosen to see each other. Um, like my family, we're you know, we're gonna go to the lake cabin every weekend and meet with them there um, with the understanding that we, you know, don't go to public places. We bring our own groceries um, and we get them delivered and things like that. I just, it's its strange times, it's weird. It's, it's a weird thing to deal with. Um, we need to learn how to move forward in our life, but at the same time, be cautious and be safe. Um, we will practice social distancing with our family too, but um, yeah, it's just, it's really bizarre. So anyways, we're having Mike's parents over tonight to celebrate Mother's Day. We celebrated with my mom yesterday for Mother's Day. Um, and I'm making her a taco bar because she loves tacos. So I'm going to do um, like hamburger, like tacos, and then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do like, uh, turkey tacos and then I'll have chicken tacos um, and then the chicken tacos I'm actually using chicken thighs because that is what Qdoba uses and um, Chipotle uses in their chicken recipe so I'm going to be using chicken thighs to do this um, so I just have a Pinterest recipe pulled up here for a copycat chicken recipe um, from Chipotle and I'm gonna whip this up we go have a taco bar tonight so all right all of you mamas, adopted moms, dads, like all of the gist of the moms, cat mom, dog mom, all of you mothering spirits out there, happy Mother's Day to you, and let's go make some chicken.
the funny. I think Mike and I are gonna go lay in our bed. It's like 7.30 right now. I think we're gonna go lay in our bed and turn on, there's like a new planet show on Amazon Prime. We're gonna turn that on. We're nerds. I, I know, we're total nerds, but that's okay, at least we own it. But I wanna lay in bed with the window open and watch planets because A, my chest hurts so bad. Oh, that concrete planter that I showed you guys wow um so heavy but i picked that up today we got flowers today um today was my sister's birthday and as you guys know she is staying with us this week um she was quarantining down in the cities now she's just basically coming up here to quarantine with us so anyway um a super fun day she was um she came with me to the um like plant place which was so nice because like you could socially distance there was plenty of room for everybody um and it was out in the country and the kids loved it it was like we we're out there for a good hour and a half it was so much fun um and look at this giant air plant that i got it's like bigger than my face i got this for 9.99 i forgot to show mike mike you listen Guess how much I got this for? Ten dollars. Isn't that a good deal? Good deal. That's nice. Like, look how big it is. And the guy out there is like, he's like, it's not even. He's like, that's not even a plant. He's like, he's like, if if you kill that thing, <laughs> I was like, oh. You have got a serious black thumb. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, challenge me though, because I do have a black thumb. Anyway, I got all of my planters planted. Those are set to go. I have a few extra flowers left over and I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with. Um, I don't need any more flowers out here because otherwise it'll be like overkill. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna send them home with my sister. It's just like a couple, I think they're like, um, what are they called, petunias? Um, left over and then like this like green thing that Kaya picked out that was half dead and I didn't know that it was in there. So anyway, um, glad I got my flowers in. I think we're past like the freezing temps. I was going to double check on our temps. Yeah, 43 is the low tonight. They should be okay out there, right? 43, 45, 43, 48, 47, 55, 63. Yeah, I think we're past like that freezing point now. Um, so the flowers should be good, but ooh, that was insanity. I know I only got like a couple of clips when I was out there, but um, I was like trying to sit and like plant flowers with my sister, like for like it was like her birthday activity, and then like Kai is like running into the street, running after the neighbor girls and running after the neighbor dogs, and she's all over the place. And Riker is crying; he's not happy. And then he pooped his diaper, and then I put him inside of his like playpen thing. I brought that outside. And then he's crying in his playpen and Kaya's running away and I'm trying to plant flowers. The dogs were outside. It was insane. Yeah, Mike's like, we get it. It was just, it was nuts. It was insane. And afterwards my entire body hurt. So anyway, so it was super fun, but it was a lot of work. Um, I'm excited to see like those pots like fill in and hopefully I can keep them alive. I'm not very good at keeping plants alive, but I've really been trying. Speaking of plants, um, I got um, another like plant baby in for inside. So I got this cute guy in uh, yesterday. It's a month. Monstera, Monstera plant, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, this like area gets really low light down here, so um, this is a low light loving plant. I figured it'd be perfect for down there. And then over here in that corner, I used to have this plant downstairs, but then I moved it up here instead um, because it does like to have a little bit more light. Um, and then I have my air plant here, um, and then I've got some Christmas cactus in here. This is aloe up here. Um, like a little succulent thing on the table. Um, upstairs in our room, I'll show you guys before we go to bed. Um, I just got a fiddly fig in. I showed you guys that in the vlog the other day. 
fiddle leaf fig tree thing. Right. Ficus, Ooh. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you guys when I go upstairs. I showed you guys a couple days ago um, in like my ketchup vlog, but um, it was like all of my plants that have come in. I've ordered them from Home Depot. I've been so impressed. They're really nice quality and I've gotten them for cheap. Um, I think my, I got my fiddly fig on sale for $25. And then my monstera plant, I wanna say I got for like $29. Um, and then my palm, um, I think it's like a majesty palm over in the corner of the dining room here. It's open. Really? It's open. Anyways, this majesty palm I got for like 20 bucks, so. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. All right, guys. You know, well, it's like one of those things where you just like you start shaking those bags and you know it's annoying as hell. You just gotta keep on doing it though until the bag's open. Cause you know everyone around you just like hates you for like that five seconds. Um, I did something different with my hair today. It looks like it's just curled, but um, dog hair. That's nice. Um. We got my sister's dog with me here too. Hi, Marla. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah. Um, my hair I curled with um, a straightener today, and then I um, straightened the ends. So it just is more of a subtle curled look. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But <sighs> so yeah, I went a little ham on plants today. Um, all of the flowers that I got. $220. I didn't realize I picked up that much until I got to the register and then I was like, oh my gosh. And then I bought a $60 planter. Oh my gosh. Happy belated Mother's Day to myself, I guess. Um, I'm hoping they don't die because that's quite the investment in flowers this year. But um, we're starting the deck out here. In a couple of weeks, the weekend after Memorial Day, we'll be starting that deck in the back. So I think I'm gonna transfer some of the plants that I have out front right now. I'm gonna transfer them up here. Um, I'll bring you guys, maybe not. I was gonna bring you guys downstairs and show you. Well, yeah, I will. I'm gonna show you the final product of the planters. The what? Did you grab the, the contractor bags? No, they're in the back. I dumped them on the back. Pretty standard. Oh. Okay, so I showed you guys this one. Oh. All right, so I showed you guys this one before. Um, here's a close up. Mike just locked me out of the house. He's such a turd. Turd. Okay, so um, anyways, I got, I don't even know the names. I'm not like a plant person, but um, I'm trying to be, I'm really trying to be a plant person. Um, I just gave them a good watering down. It's still like 50 degrees outside, so it's not super cold. I don't wanna like shock them, but um, anyway, I got like this nice, like this is a big concrete planter. This is from Target. Um, so I've got like my plants. I've got, I did like an online order pickup for this, by the way. Um, it is heavy. Um, and then again, I don't know what this is called, but it's super cute. It's really pretty. Um, I have these black, are these petunias or are these, I don't know what the F they are, um, but <laughs> they're black. See, I'm not a flower person. Um, but I do know that these are ferns, Boston ferns. I have one here and then I have one over in the other corner back here. Um, and then I've got this sweet potato vine. I don't remember what this is called, but I do remember that the scent of it is um, cerveza lime, lime cerveza, and it literally smells like a lime beer. It's so weird, but it smells super good. Um, it's just like cute, it's like fuzzy, oh my gosh. Anyway. This is what I came up with. Um, I did YouTube a couple of videos because I was like, I don't really know how to fill a planter. Like some people put like a really tall thing in the middle here, um, but I didn't. Um, I just left it, but um, I did overstuff my planter. Um, I did overstuff my planter. I, like I said, I watched a couple YouTube videos and this one gal that, I, God, I can't remember what her channel was, but she said that she always overstuffs her planters and she owns like a greenhouse or something. So anyway, but there's like plenty of like space in between these. Okay, so like these are all the leftover flowers that I have. I know it looks so ugly, but I don't want them to die. Um, I, 
I ended up getting these like actually here's a funny story I bought two smaller pots like this at the nursery that I was at um, it's like this like art like stone brand or something um, and I asked Mike to pick me up one more container because I actually like bought way too many flowers for the containers I had the planters I had so he picked me up this one um, and it's the same brand as the other two I bought just coincidentally anywho um I got this like I got this vine I think this is English ivy I think that's what it's called again I'm not a pro but I've been loving like the black and white and this was like as white um, as they sold so I got these and I got these like I believe they're like black mambas um, I got this like citrus um, smelling plant again I don't really know what it's called but um, that came together super nicely if you're being thrown off it's because there's like an extra plant back here hang on there we go <laughs> that was my planter this year um, or that was my um, the planter that I put together in this like other bigger one. So I've got that one over there, that one over here. I might rearrange them because uh, that's just how I am. I rearrange things like a million times. So these two over here are the smaller planters that I bought from the nursery. Um, and these were like Kaya's flowers that she picked out. They're like speckled, I don't know. But they're really cute. Um, and then I put grasses in the middle, which she was not happy about. And this guy's like falling over. I need to like prop him up. Poor guy. Um, Kaya like tried to tear him out because she didn't like that I put grass in with her flowers. Um, yeah, so I put like grass in the middle and then I've got um, these flowers on the side. Same here. This guy's going to need a bigger pot. I didn't think it looked terrible, but um, yeah, so this is kind of like, if you see like here's our post. And then we've got like our flowers here, our big pot here, and then we've got this one over here, which I know looks so janky because I have the box out here. And um, we're tearing out all this rock and we put, we're putting new rock in and we're putting curbing in and all of this is being covered with topsoil and reseeded and we've got people coming to fertilize the lawn, all the things. So there's lots of stuff definitely going on in our front yard right now, but at least the flowers are looking pretty good. I'm in love with this one. I need to do something over here. I might get another concrete one that's smaller like this for this guy so that it ties in nicer, but we'll see. And then over here, I don't know what to do with these leftover flowers. Maybe get another concrete planter, but oh, it's just so much. I'm not good with flowers. <laughs> so anyways, that is um, what we put together for flowers this year out front. Um, Kaya did a good job of picking out her flowers. They were really cute, like those pink spotty ones I thought were adorable. Um, yeah, okay. Boots, Kaya's boots are inside. I'm gonna go smash my burger, by the way. If you guys like the basket this is in, it was like $10 on Amazon. I'll have the plants, the indoor plants, and that basket linked down below for you guys um, because I bought all of it online. <sighs> I'll also link that concrete planter from Target because I think they're on sale online right now too. So, anywho, all right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my burger and then I'm gonna go lay down and I'm gonna go watch the planet. All right. I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. It will be a vlog, and then Sunday is going to be my bathroom. I can't. I can't even record a normal clip with you behind me. Um, and then on stop. And then on Sunday. And then on Sunday, I'm really. Excuse me. Don't put that in there. And then, um, and then on Sunday, I'm going to be uploading my organize and clean with me for the bathroom and showing you guys the reveal of the bathroom and um, like linking all of the um, products that we used in that bathroom remodel. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. But I will see you guys on Friday. Um, I know my schedule's off this week, but just bear with me. I'll see you on Friday for another vlog. Okay, bye you guys.